Okay, let's go to the definition of double integral. What is double double integral? Uh, for actually for all integral, uh, it, it, all integrals are from the same uh, from the same uh, concept. First, uh, we recall that the uh, integral for single value problem, a uh, single value integral, that is integral from A to B, fx dx, that's defined by the limit n tend to infinity, the sigma i from 1 to n, the fx i, maybe there's uh, a star here, delta x i, or the limit can be write as delta x tend to 0. The delta x is the max of all delta x i. The definition is from here, from the uh, area bounded by y equals f x and uh, x x equals a y uh, a from a to b. <coughs> the concept is like this: we divide the interval by some small intervals. In each interval, we use a rectang rectangle to approximate to approximate the area. With uh, with the uh, curved top, and uh, uh, that is actually like this, this, this. We in each interval we use a rectangle to approximate approximate the area. Then uh, the the bottom length is delta x i. The bottom like this. That is delta x i. And the h, the h is f x f x i. Maybe f x i star. Because we choose the x i star is belongs to x i and x i plus one for any point, any point. Because if the uh, interval is small enough, uh, the fx uh, can change. Uh, the, the, the increment of the F, fx is very small, so we can um, choose any point uh, in, in the interval. Then take the limit. Actually, the definition for the, for the integral that is from the limit and the uh, summation add together is uh, in the integral the in integral from a to b that's the definition for uh, definite integral in single value uh, sing single variable calculus then we go to the the volume the volume bounded by the, the the top the volume the top is a, a surface and uh, the bottom the bottom is some 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 domain in the in the plane. So how to how to calculate the volume of of this uh, of this in this region for this region? Actually, we use the same concept that we divide the divide the domain by small by small like rectangles. In each in each one, in each small 
rectangle. We use a rectangular box to approximate to approximate the the volume in this small in this small uh, small for this small part. So <coughs> if we uh, use like this is delta x i is delta y i so the the base area the base area is like delta x i g the base area delta y g and uh, h we call for this small part Uh, for this small part, the H is F, X, I, we use star, Y, I, Y, J, star. Uh, where X, I, star belongs to X, I, X, I plus 1. And the Y, J, star is belongs to Y, J, to Y, J plus 1. Any point in, in this one. In, in the small in the small area that we use this part this part we can uh, draw a bigger picture that if like this this part is delta y g this part is delta x i so the the the, uh, the base area is delta i times delta g, and the h that is h h is f x i star f y uh, g star. Then <coughs> uh, then the uh, small volume. For this small part, that is f x i star y j star times delta x i delta y j, and all volume that almost. So the volume that uh, that almost can be approximated by all delta v i and v i j. V I G. Uh, that is the double, the double part because that is this uh, for this part is uh, this part is L uh, um, X uh, X is one and Y is from one to two M. We can write as I from 1 to N, J from 1 to M. That is I from 1 to N, J is from 1 to M because for this part and uh, all part that is I from 1 uh, to N, J from 1 to M. Uh, that is F, X, I star. Uh, y j star times delta x i delta y j. That, that is the volume can be approximated by the uh, double summation. And if we let the uh, area be smaller and smaller, then the <coughs> the approximate uh, can be more precise. Uh, so uh, the the actual volume that is take the limit m tend to infinite n tend to infinite uh, sigma i from uh, j from one to m i from one to n 
that is f x i star y j star times delta x i delta y j. Sometimes we write this part. Sometimes we write this part as delta a i j. Okay. Use the same uh, the same uh, symbol or same uh, the same method. We write limit and uh, summation as integral because there's uh, double integral. Uh, there is a double limit and a double limit and a double summation. So we write this as double integral. F x y d x d y. Then the integral is in the area, and this sometimes we write as df x y da that's the double integral so actually the double integral this double integral is actually the double the double limit and the double summation just like the uh, like in the single value, value calculus. That's actually the double, the double integral is actually the, uh, we can uh, view the double integral, um, regard the double integral as a double limit and a double summation. That's the uh, that's the double integral and the triple integral actually is can be uh, derived derived from the same uh, from the same concept if there's uh, there's a uh, uh, space region there's is there is some subject uh, there's if there is some subject that uh, like this uh, if we want to find the uh, like the the mass of this subject uh, or this object how to find the uh, find the mass of this object we can uh, if a if it's the density, the density is uh, rho x y z. Big, you know, the density is uh, is not uh, not constant, but it's changed from uh, from uh, from one point to an, uh, not another. That's different from different point. So how to find the mass? We know that the mass, the mass is density times uh, the volume. Now we uh, divide by small, small object. In each object, uh, each object. Each object, the uh, delta m i uh, delta m i g k equals uh, the volume uh, that is delta x i delta y g times delta z k uh, times the rho x star x i star y g star and z k star because the, the this volume is very small, and the, uh, the density uh, cannot change much, so we can view that in this part, in this small small object, the the mass of this small object can be approximated by by this. That's sometimes we write as rho x i star, y j star, and uh, z k star times delta uh, v i j k and then all the 
the mass is su uh, summation i j k the rho x i y j and c k star times delta v i j k and then take the limit Take the limit, then it's the uh, precise mass for the uh, for for this object. Take the limit that is uh, maybe i from uh, one to n, j from uh, one to m, k from one to l. That is uh, n change to infinity. That is n. Uh, L, M, N, uh, both tend to infinity, all tend to infinity, K, J, I, then rho, X, I, Y, J, Z, K, times delta V, I, J, K. Now we write, we use the triple integral this the symbol of triple triple integral to uh, to replace the triple limit and triple uh, summation that is rho x y c dv sometimes we write as v rho x y c d c d y dx that's the triple integral actually for any uh, definite in integral we use the same the same concept that first we divide the domain into small into small domain and then the uh, the function uh, the fun function uh, change not too much in that in that small uh, in that small uh, domain. So we can approximate uh, our uh, this, this approximate the quantity by the f times the small uh, volume or area. That's the that's the concept of integral. So the double integral, triple integral is deduced from the real problems. Okay, let's uh, let's compute the double integral next time.